All right, so we got another snowstorm coming this way tonight and the winds are gonna be up to 45 miles an hour. And uh, there's the front of the storm right there. You can kind of see how it's going this way here. And then let's come over here, I'll show you just how dark it looks. So that's what that's what's coming. And uh, we're set up just right over here around the corner. Got this really nice little stream, which actually has a little brook trout right in there, which is great. So I got the stove going and uh, we're prepping for this. It's gonna be up, probably be up again all night again. Um, it's supposed to sit to hit, I think around 9 p.m. And it's gonna build up until then, but hit it like 9 p.m. And then um, the winds, I think the 45 mile an hour gusts are gonna start coming around 11 or midnight. So I've got the cameras charging up. I'm gonna film everything. We'll see how crazy it gets. Extremely loud, but I've had a really long day, and I'm gonna try to get some sleep. So we're gonna cut the, the filming short tonight, and we'll pick back up in the morning. Um, last night, I, I the reason why I'm so tired is last night I set up the tent after dark, and just spent all the day today. Oops, there you go. What's up, sweetie? Let's see, I was moving over in the bed, and spent all day today just getting ready for the storm and stuff. So I'm just beat, and I'm gonna crash out or try to crash out. I don't know if I can sleep with this wind. And uh, then we'll, we'll, recon we'll reconvene in the morning, so we'll catch up with you then. All right, hey, what's up, everybody? We didn't get any sleep at all last night. It was really a, a rough night, so um, 
just kind of tossed and turned all night when in the wind here but got to get rolling into town the temperatures tonight are supposed to get down to negative 15 and the winds are supposed to be high again so i'm going to move the bed a little bit closer to the stove and then go grab some more firewood and then <laughs> sierra sierra seems like she's up and up and at him and ready to go i know as we all i know i know i know I, hey stop all right uh, but I, I want to let, let y'all know I'm going to start reviewing products and putting them in, in videos in these winter camping videos because a lot of people keep asking me like hey what's a good product to use for a fridge or what's a good product to use for a water purifier or what's a good what's a good product to use for whatever and what I'd like to do is just put these videos out so people can digest them as they see fit and today I want to talk about the fridge from Eco Power. It's one that actually has lithium ion batteries that plug into the front of it. You can take them out and plug other ones in. So if you have multiple batteries, you can just, just it's, it's like portable. You transport it anywhere you want. And it's pretty lightweight. It's on wheels as well. It's got a little handle and a roller thing. So I'm really impressed with this fridge. I think it's a good one. And I, I, uh, I got a chance to check it out when I was at my friend Chad's place. So I'm going to review this one. Uh, the next video, I'm going to review the jerry can that I have, the uh, Lifesaver jerry can, which is the, the new one that has the water purifier in it. And you can um, get the uh, water uh, pure or um, uh, pure pressurized in here and use this as a as a spout for you know getting um, dispensing water but th right now we're going to check out the echo power fridge so let's let's uh, take a look at this video and thanks for watching hey what's up everyone okay so a company finally figured out how to solve the problem of the battery powered and a oh, live pumpkin i know so you're so excited about this video oh my gosh look out pumpkin <laughs> she knows we're gonna head to colorado soon so i think she's getting excited <laughs> but uh anyway um you know the, the the systems that i always talk about that i think are important are your food systems and your battery systems but you know those are expensive like fridges can be pricey and batteries can be pricey and the solar panels on top of it so if you could kind of combine some of those elements and make them into one product instead of having various different things to power say for example like a fridge then i think that that's a really great idea and i hope more more products move this way um, this fridge right here is from eco power and what i really like about this is that it has a battery that's interchangeable in the front here so if you see this right here this is where the battery is located and you easily can just clip it out um, take one out when when the battery's low pump another one in or you can just have the solar coming in like i have right now from the from the panel over there, the little foldable panel they sent me. And so uh, this is a great idea for any sort of Nomad device or any sort of off-grid device because having the battery in here is great. You don't have to keep this in your in your vehicle. And so this is truly portable. And what I really like about it is on the back here, you've got kind of like the suitcase st uh, style deal. This is really, really sturdy. And these wheels are holding up really well. We've been dragging this thing all over the ranch and the wheels are doing great. So. I'm impressed with this. I think it's a, a really great idea for any sort of, of product like this that runs off of lithium ion. I mean, these batteries here, I'll have to do the, I'll have to do my research on them, but I think if I remember, if I remember off the top of my head, you can run for about 12 hours, 11 to 12 hours on each battery. And we've got two here, so we can we can knock out a day, which is great. So here on the ranch, what we've been doing is we've just been using it to keep drinks cold, keep food, you know, uh, fresh, all that good stuff. And then I was talking to Chad and Lisa, and they've been using this for another uh, uh, purpose, which I didn't even think about. So let's go chat with them real quick, and we'll ask them what they use this for. So. Yeah, I heard you were on it. No, yeah, so. It All right, so what do you think of the cooler? What, what, what did you find was most useful about it? Uh, so for our particular situation, we our closest grocery store is about 80 miles. And then if we want to do a, like a big trip, it's more like 100 miles. So when we go, we have to, we hit, you know, I think I counted out like seven stores the other day when we yeah. talked about our supply run. That's what Lisa calls it, our supply run. Um, so what's nice about it is we, we have, um, um, it's like a Yeti knockoff. It's not a Yeti, so it's probably not as good. But um, when we put our cold stuff in like cheese and all that, by the time we get home, in fact, you ever go to the grocery store and you get cheese from the deli? And they forget to put the plastic in it. Yeah. And you get, right? home, and you get home and you're like, what the? Uh, that's kind of what our cheese is like when we get back from one of these runs because it's it's 80 miles. And it doesn't matter if it's cold out or hot out or anything because our truck stays a comfortable temperature. So everything kind of mm -hmm. warms up. So we have to bag buy a bag of ice and waste it or whatever to try and get stuff home. So the other day when we tried it, we bought these, um, we bought ice cream, which we can't 
buy ice cream. <laughs> like 80 miles, it's done. We've actually done it. Uh -huh. had, it had it explode in the, in the little Yeti knockoff. Um, so we bought ice cream the other night and it made it home just fine. We stuck it right at the bottom. We stuck, I think we set it down at 31. I, th I think we set it down to 31 just below freezing because we don't want everything else to freeze. Mm -hmm. Ice cream made it fine. Cheese made it fine. In fact, we're using it. It's coming right apart. It's like none of the frustrations. So I, I think, you know, if you're a camper, it's it's cool. Uh, you know, I think if you could do it making a day trip, I think going out, you know, like you have it, some of these petroglyph sites, I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. But for an off-gridder, the supplies. Um, because in that seven stores, I might stop at three for groceries, right? You know, get something at Costco and something else at, at Smith's or Natural Grocers or whatever. And so all of that stuff gets ruined. Or warm, you know, um, uh, kombuchas is a really good example. Mm -hmm. You don't want those to get warm, yeah. you know, and they always do. So you have to hope that you didn't ruin them or you didn't kill the bacteria in them or whatever. So yeah. for me, the supply run, it's, it, I don't know what it costs, but it's something I think we would invest in just for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise we have to go to the local place and get ice cream and it's like, nine hundred dollars you know for a half a quart of ice cream <laughs> which i have to have of course ice cream it's well it's, it's, I, like I, your, it's hashtag survival food it's like your bacon yeah you know i gotta have the ice cream <laughs> um, nice. but it was awesome it it um it charged up in like 40 miles by the time we got to that first gas station it was about 40 miles from here um just in the in the lighter mm -hmm. the, you know the, what i mean yeah the, the, the direct um, plug and it doesn't take up any room it sits sideways behind lisa's seat so we can still hit our Home Depot and Lowe's runs and all of that stuff and get everything we need and not smash our cold stuff or the stuff that has to stay cold. And we can pick it up first if we have to, instead of trying to figure out how to drive around town, you know, and backtrack three times, which we've done. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll hit everything and then we hit a Walmart and a Costco on the way out of town and, you know, backtrack 12 miles. Yeah. It's frustrating. Oh, that's huge, man. Well, cool. Well, thanks, man. So you got a couple of different ways you can charge here. You've got direct solar and then you've got the, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> you got solar, then you got the dredge current. A dredge current, you've got a plug for like a, a 110 plug for the wall, then also one for your cigarette lighter. And then over here, obviously, you know, you got the solar panel that powers it. And then you've got a plug that you can uh, use for your cigarette lighter as well. So you've got two options for cigarette lighter charging here. And then uh, the readout here is really nice. If you look at it from the side, let's see if I can get, you can kind of see it there. So right now we're clocking in at 37 degrees. Um, the way that you change the, the temperature here is just real simple. It's just up and down. And so plus or minus and you're good to go. Uh, you've got, let's see, what is, oh, I'm sorry. That, that's the power button. I didn't mean to do it. And then you get your settings button here, which I haven't really gone through that yet to see. What, oh, you've got different settings. you got the eco setting and then the max setting for cooling. So right now we're on max. You can turn it to eco and that'll save you a little bit of power. Um, for the interior here, this is actually pretty big. Um, I didn't realize just how much space is down in the, the fridge part itself. And it's got this convenient plug real quick I want to show you for cleaning it out. So if you want to clean up the fridge, everything drains down to there, which is nice. But you know, for this area here to be this small, you've got this, this lithium ion battery here with the plug-in, plug-out system. You've got all the electrical in here and then you've got the compressor as well as the readout right here. And for all of that to be in this little spot, you know right here is, is I think it's really well designed and another thing too is this this is not heavy at all and so it's easy to roll this thing around these these wheels are really durable and the handle on here is really good and sturdy so it's like it's this isn't this isn't flimsy at all it's a very well well made and well thought out uh, product and so I think this is a really great great tool to use off grid especially with the battery component because that's the biggest thing is like I tell people, yeah, you gotta get your battery and then your fridge and your solar panel and all that stuff. And that fridge, you literally could run off your car. If you drive a bunch, you can power up those batteries pretty quick from your direct current, charge them up. And if you have two of them, you might not even have to run a solar panel and an extra battery in your vehicle if you're just wanting to keep your food cold. And so that's a great, great, uh, great idea from EcoPower. I'm really impressed with it. So here, here's what the battery looks like. This is the extra battery. You just plug it in. Here's the little, interface down there where you plug it in it just basically goes into the um, fridge like that and then on the front here you just basically push it down it'll, pull, it'll power up and then you'll see how many bars of power that you have here so we've got one bar of power and then you just turn it back off and then as far as the charging cords, cords go <laughs> I kind of always base a company's um, 
uh, you know, a company's solar stuff off their off their charge cords, whether I'm right or wrong. And all these charge cords are good. They're good gauge, good quality. Um, you've got your stuff for the charge controller, which actually I'll talk about that on the solar panel. This is really nice. You can trickle charge stuff and uh, charge like a 12 volt battery. And then the, the main plug here for uh, for your for the the fridge itself is really good. So I believe they call us the Lion Cooler, so lithium ion cooler. And there's the, the logo that they use right there. And uh, overall, I'm, I'm super impressed. So I think this is a really well thought out product. And um, if you want more information, the video description, the, the um, product link is in the video description below. So check that out. But definitely a well thought out product. I, I definitely give EcoPower credit with this. And the, the, the solar panel is really nice. It's lightweight, packs up and nothing flat. Yet it's pretty sturdy. And these three kickstands down here, instead of just two, you know, they've got three, which really helps out for keeping it sturdy. Uh, they do have, let's see, there's a plug that's in there. It just comes out to the MC4 connectors right here. And you just plug that right in, which is a cord that goes from there directly into uh, the Lion cooler. And then the the uh, cords for this, the, the solar ones, are super long. So you can go and you can set your, your uh, fridge in the shade and then put your solar panel in the sun. And it helps to keep everything cool in there and you don't consume as much power. So... Anyway, Echo Power, well done. I, I'm very impressed with this fridge. It comes in real handy around here. We've been using it a bunch, so so that's uh, it's good stuff.